What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here as always. Today I bring you two simple glitches you can use to defeat Argos in the new Curse of Osiris Red Lair. But hey people, want to win an exclusive emblem or a sparrow code? Simply leave a like on this video and join my Discord server which is linked below. Okay, so Argos, the final boss of the Red Lair, isn't the easiest encounter for everyone. Some people are struggling with it. So today, hopefully, with these two glitches, I can help you defeat him once and for all. These glitches, though, I will warn you, will be patched eventually, so use this while you can. So the main two things to take into consideration when trying to defeat Argos is the fact of laying damage into him and doing as much DPS as possible and when it comes to the three stages of taking out his body parts it's about being consistent and doing consistent damage to them said body parts. Also maintaining constant fire on them parts waiting for them to explode. A few points though, what my team did though here was split into two teams of three to take out one part each. It was just way more efficient this way. If one team took out a body part before the other team, they would simply just move across and help them with their body part. Simple as that. If you didn't know, you don't have to take out a single pair at a time. So you can take out one side of his head and one arm in a single run. So don't rush to split up. As long as two body parts are taken out with one run, it will be fine. Organise this part though in a form which best suits your team's style of play and which is easiest for them. So both glitches here can be used for damage but the second one is amazing for that constant firing of Argos' body parts. So the first glitch which you've probably seen already and that is the Warcliffe Coil glitch, basically infinite heavy ammo. What this does is basically give you maximum rocket launcher ammo from one single rocket. So what you do here is you have to start off using the Warcliffe Coil. Once you get down to a single rocket, you simply switch to another rocket launcher. Here I'd suggest the Leviathan Raid rocket launcher as it's amazing, but you can use any rocket launcher. In fact, this works with any other heavy weapon, except you can't switch to another Warcliff. So what you do is, if you've got a full clip of Warcliff, you basically empty your clip in your Warcliff, leaving one rocket left in that Warcliff coil. Then you simply switch to another heavy, and bam, you will have a full clip. And it's as simple as that. If you have an empty clip on your war cliff, simply pick up one heavy ammo pack before switching to that other heavy weapon you plan on using. Minotaurs in this Argus encounter are definitely your best source of heavy though. So once you pick up a heavy pack, simply switch to the other heavy of choice. And this does do great, great damage against Argos. If everybody in your team's using this, I'm telling you guys, if you do it right, he won't last two runs. Me personally though, I didn't use this heavy glitch but a few of my teammates did and they were doing some seriously good damage. Now the other glitch which is amazing for constant damage requires a hunter and the exotic leg armors, the lucky pants. These have been buffed and another perk has been added to them. Illegally modded holster. Precision hits load one round to the chamber of stalled hand cannons. This works but it is indeed also glitched. What you need to do here is you need to have two hand cannons equipped, one in your kinetic slot, the other in your energy slot. Here you simply land a precision kill with your energy hand cannon, then switch to your kinetic hand cannon, land another precision kill, then simply go into your infantry and switch your energy weapon to what I suggest to be either an auto rifle or a trace rifle. Both the Cola and the Prometheus lens are great here, but any auto rifle also works wonders. What happens is, as long as you keep hitting crits, you never have to reload your weapon. And even if you do reload, it still works. Every crit hit with the energy weapon you change to, like I said, either a trace or a auto rifle, when you get a crit hit, it puts bullets back into the clip, meaning you do constant damage without ever having to reload, meaning you can do constant damage to Argus's body parts. But it also works wonders in doing damage initially on Argus. The best of both right here. And it isn't like energy ammo is hard to come across. The amount of adds that spawn, so much drops, it's unbelievable. Now with these glitches, I do suggest you use one or the other, as you will be spending more time in your infantry, then you will be doing work in this raid layer. But yeah guys, two simple glitches you can take advantage of if you are having trouble defeating Argos in the Curse of Osiris raid layer. The Eater of Worlds raid. But yes guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you out. If you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. You never get
getting right.